Hello, Capricorn. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are doing well. So this will be a bonus reading for you guys. I'm just kind of starting to cycle over. And since it's your birthday season, you guys will be coming first. I hope you guys are doing well. You're enjoying your birthday season so far. And happy holidays for all of you who celebrate the holidays. So let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. <clears throat> what messages would you like to deliver to Capricorn for their highest good at this time? Please and thank you. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, so with the Hermit in reverse and you have the Three of Cups, um, I do see that you guys have been in sort of like this seclusive type of energy where you're not really um, getting out. You're not really spending time with anyone. Some of you guys could be like completely isolated from a lot of people. And it looks like um, more than likely the reason why you kind of withdrew your energy from a lot, of, a lot of the people in your life, a lot of relationships in your life, is because there was some sort of betrayal here or you guys kind of have been picking up on some like shysty type of energy. Um, because with the two of cups in reverse, some of you guys could have had a falling out with like a close friend, a close family member. Um, but with the three of swords coming through, it could be like several people that were close to you and it was really difficult for you to have to experience this. So... I'm getting the issue in this situation with the page of uh, swords being in reverse. This could be someone that's younger than you or it's just someone who's very immature. But this is someone who intentionally spread lies. Like they may say that they don't know what they're doing or act like they were completely ob oblivious as to how their behavior could have affected you or whatever they were doing. Um, it looks like someone who's who was being very manipulative they could lie and say that they didn't realize that they were being hurtful or just completely lie about saying certain things. But this is someone who is intentionally like trying to disrupt your peace. And I'm definitely getting that you have been picking up on it. They are advising a resolution within this situation. But let me see exactly what's going on here. Because I, I definitely see you making a decision here about the course of action you decide to take. And it looks like you will be receiving some sort of message. Some of y'all may be traveling like overseas. Some of y'all may relocate to overseas. Okay, so for one, we have a divine partnership coming through for you guys. You got the king and the uh, queen of cups. This is someone that you will have a strong bond with. You may not initially realize that this is um, something that has the potential to grow, but I'm getting the more you get to know this person, um, you will realize that there is a lot more to this connection than what meets the eye. Now, um, as far as like the issue that's going on, I'm getting that some of you guys, this is regarding your family. And the reason why I'm getting, I'm not getting that they're telling you, like if this is an issue where you feel like you, you are really betrayed by some family here, or it just could be like a childhood friend or something. But they're asking you to like find a way to heal from this because the it's like it's kind of stunning your growth some of y'all this could have been going on for some time some of y'all could have given someone another opportunity and then they end up betraying you again because it's like someone who is intentionally uh disrupting your peace and i'm getting like some of y'all could give this person like opportunity after opportunity only to be betrayed by this person again. So I don't know if this is like a family member or a childhood friend, but with the Six of Cups popping up here, this is definitely someone that you've known for some time now. 
And I'm getting that like, you may try to make it very clear to this person that you have nothing but good intentions for them. Like I'm getting that you're very sweet and generous towards this person. You're very kind and caring towards this person, but I'm not getting that you're getting that in return. And it doesn't have to be one person. It could be several people here. But the thing is, ultimately, Capricorn, I see you in a very happy place. And whoever you have to release, they are going to deeply regret the way they treated you and how they ultimately cause um, your relationship to fall apart with them. Because I see you developing new friendships, also celebrating some sort of success here. I definitely see you coming out of hermit mode, coming out of this energy of just being secluded and completely withdrawn and getting back out there. Um, it looks like you guys are deciding on something that's going to pay off for you. And I'm, the energy that I'm getting from you is that you could have been in this state of like depression or just not doing well mentally and emotionally. But you, you're getting out of there and it looks like you're um, motivating yourself like you're getting that spark, that spark is reigniting within you to get out, do something, to make something happen, um, to really take charge of the direction of your life. So I see you, I see you like basically taking authority over your life and not allowing your emotions to get the best of you anymore. Now let's see, cause I want to dive a little further into this relationship here. So I'll tell you what, um, whoever this person is, they may see you like they may view you as going through a difficult time currently, but they see like your strength. They do see you as someone who's very strong, uh, beautiful, handsome, whether you're male or female. But this person definitely like they they think that you're a beautiful person just in general. They think you have a very beautiful heart, very kind and caring. But I'm definitely getting that you guys may be going through a difficult time and they may notice that. I'm definitely, I'm getting like this person witnessing a change, a shift in your energy. It's like right now, this person is kind of like observing what's going on in your life. So I'm not sure how you're meeting this person. Um, it could be through work because we have the eight of pentacles showing up here because they're looking at you as someone who's very focused, determined. Um, you have a lot on your plate. Um, and they may acknowledge that you don't quite I'm not getting that you just don't trust this person, but you struggle with trusting people in general. So it looks like this person's realizing that in order to gain your trust, they're going to have to learn how to communicate with you or reach out um, because they're realizing that communication is key in this situation. But it looks like they're observing things for a little minute before they approach you. I do see them approaching you though, because I don't know if like this person has tried to flirt with you, but it looks like they want to make their intentions clear. They want to bring clarity into the situation with Ace of Swords popping up here. So, but I don't get that you've been focused on this person at all. Because with the Seven of Swords, yeah, you're overcoming a difficult time in your life. And you're learning to adapt to be more strategic. The Seven of Swords can be a very uh, positive card, um, especially when it's attached to the, uh, to the Ten of Swords in reverse because it talks about you overcoming a difficult situation by being strategic, by being clever, uh, being more flexible and adaptable. So it's like you may have your mind set on things going a particular way. And then when things don't work out, instead of you just... Uh, fall into the spare, you're like, okay, well, let me figure out how to make things work. Now that it's not going this way, I'll figure out how to make it work. Um, it's like, instead of just giving up, you're learning how to 
figure out how to, I don't know, just work it out with the direction that it's going. Let's see. Uh, for my Capricorns who are in a relationship with someone already, I definitely am getting that this person wants like to move things to the next level. It looks like uh, you may be, I'm not getting like, it looks like you're just busy. You're busy. You have a lot of, you have a lot going on. And whether you live with this person or not, like you guys be in the same household, but you have so much going on, like you may be working a full-time job, you may be working more than one job, or you're going to school. It's like you have a lot on your plate. Some of y'all could be, I don't know, it's like, even if like you're writing a book, you're doing something, and it's taking up your time. I'm getting that they're very understanding, because they see that you're building towards something. I do get they're a very supportive person as well. Um... But it is like right now, things may be a little, I'm not nece necessarily getting like bad energy though. I'm just getting that you're, you're focused on something. So you may not be able to be as present in this relationship as you would like to be. So from time to time, I do get that this person feels like you're a little absent um, and you're not really there, but they're understanding because they know that it's not because of anything unreasonable. It's you're working towards something, you're building towards something. But they are ready to move things to the next level, but they're questioning whether it's the right time to do it because you have so much going on. But I do see this being a beautiful connection between you and this person. Um, I do see too, if you like really going the distance for some time. It's just right now, they're just kind of trying to figure out like when is the best time to um, say, okay, either get engaged or, okay, we've been engaged for so long, let's get married. I don't know. It's like they're trying to figure out when is the best time so they don't disrupt what you have going on. So I do see this being a really good connection for you because you're with someone who's very considerate of like, what you have going on and what's going on in your life. They're not a selfish, uh, selfish individual. Let's see. So for my Capricorns who are in separation from someone, it looks like the reason why you and this person separated in the first place is because they were not making you a priority. Uh, it looks like they constantly had excuses as to why they couldn't be there for you. Um, which ultimately left you feeling unsatisfied here. So, I mean, I'm getting that you can be understanding that they may have this or that going on, but if they're constantly making up excuses as to why they can't, you know, make time for you, then I'm getting like you got fed up with it and it ultimately led you to leave this person alone. But I, I don't see... If this person comes back around, I don't see them being consistent with you for the long term. Um, they may just, it's like if anything, I get them coming back around just so they can get your attention again. So they can have you chasing after them again. But I don't get that they want to be with you for a long term. It's like you're really just a space filler for this person. So I would advise you to con uh, continue to like distance yourself from this person and look for other opportunities to come your way. And until then, continue to focus on yourself, take care of yourself, elevating yourself spiritually, healing emotionally as well, physically as well, whatever it is. But no, I don't get this being the person for you. For my single Capricorns, it looks like you have someone from the past that feels guilty about the way they treated you in the past. And whoever this person is, like they definitely feel a connection with you despite the physical distance, the emotional distance. It's, it seems like you guys are still connected energetically uh, to one another. I'm getting that this person could like 
pop up on you. Yeah. So this person wants to tell you how they feel. This is someone that could have never expressed the way they feel about you. And now all of a sudden they want to come forward and reveal how they feel towards you. I'm not getting that this is someone that is worth your time. It's like, I don't, it's, I'm getting like they play too many games. So, but you can't expect them to come towards you and to expect uh, express the way they feel. But I definitely don't see things going any further in this connection. It's like they come back around and then you realize why things didn't work out in the first place. So whoever you're crushing on, I don't know because I'm getting like new energy and basically what I'm getting from this situation, I don't know if it's someone that you work with, you run into when you go to the gym or you're running to somewhere, you run into this person somewhere. And this person has definitely been like hoping to see you again. They're really excited for the next time that uh, the two of you run into each other. I'm getting like this person could be working on themselves physically. So like the next time they see you, like they can, I don't know, just like sweep you off your feet or you'll be just like, wow, you know, but this is someone who is really interested in you. I definitely see you dating this person and enjoying your time with this person. Um, yeah, right now it's a lot of confusion. I'm not getting like any negative energy. I'm just getting the two of you have not had a time to get to know each other. Uh, you haven't had time like to develop a relationship with one another. So neither, neither one of you know how the other person feels. I'm not getting like whether it'll be long term or not. But I definitely am getting that you would enjoy dating this person and spending time with them and just seeing where things could go. So for new love, it looks like you'll be hearing about someone um, liking you very shortly. It'll be very evident that someone is interested in you because this you're not going to have to chase after this person. This person will be chasing after you. You want more. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't understand why. I don't get um, that this is the new love. I get that you will have a new love that you'll hear about that's interested in you and this person will be pursuing you. The crazy part is like you have someone from the past that I don't know if this person just treated you like How can I explain it? It's like they treated you like you weren't worth their time. You weren't. I don't, it's like they really mishandled you. And to see someone else pursue you to the extent that this new person is about to, it's going to make this person like analyze basically everything within their life and especially the connection that they shared with you. Because it's definitely a missed opportunity for this person. They're feeling overwhelmed because, for one, they feel like the two of you have unfinished business. Little do they know that while the two of you have been separated, you have worked on yourself. You have released this connection. So you no longer have regret about this connection between you and this person. I'm getting like initially you did, but I don't get that you have any more. This person still does. They have yet to uh, close that cycle um, that involved you. But I'm saying that you did. I don't get necessarily that this person will reach out to you. I'm not quite sure why their energy is coming up. Whether you guys have been like seeking answers to this. This is just like a part of the closure for you. But I don't see them reaching out. I definitely see them like continuing to hold on to this. It looks like they're going to continue to repeat this cycle for some time. I don't see them breaking free of this uh, anytime soon. But I see, I'm definitely seeing that you have already. So, or you're in the process of doing it.
not that many. So you have wishes coming uh, true for you. Um, peace, some, something is coming in for you. But I'm getting that this is leaning more towards your career because it looks like you're discovering something. You have some sort of aha moment, whether something is revealed to you in a dream or you just receive some sort of clarity as to what you should be focused on. Because I'm definitely seeing like your eyes on the prize, like your... You know, because I'm not getting that whoever this is for, like right now, you know exactly what you need to be focused on. I'm getting that you're kind of trying to figure out, okay, what should I be pouring my energy towards? What should I completely be focusing on at this time? And I'm getting that that's about to become very clear to you because it looks like you've been lacking the fun, excitement, and joy in whatever you're doing. Yeah, because your challenge here is clarity, needing more information. And I'm getting that you've been seeking information, trying to figure out what you should be focused on, what you, what you should be doing next. And it's because I'm getting that you're trying to avoid your energy being scattered. But I'm definitely saying like you will because your outcome is the hummingbird, which is enjoyment. You're learning to be, become more present resilient as well lifting out of negativity so whatever this is whatever clarity that you're about to receive it's about to get you out of this like funk that you've been in and you'll feel more positive as to the direction you're headed towards yeah so with Beaver, uh, you guys may feel like things are working against you at this time, but despite the challenges that you're facing, I'm definitely seeing that you, and you're about to have, yeah, ladybug. So look, a vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, good health, balances. So you guys are focusing on everything you're focusing on and wishes are coming true, which is confirming wishes come true. So they're letting you know your wishes are coming true and your wishes will come true. You have them back to back. But I'm getting like you're being rewarded because despite the challenges that you've been uh, forced to face, you remain persistent and your persistence is paying off. Now you have new things on the horizon. Um, you remain determined. So you're making dreams real. This is like your efforts are paying off for you. So I'm definitely getting that you guys are on the right track. You didn't just give up. You continue to push through despite how difficult things may have became for you. Despite the lack of help um, coming from other people, you continue to push through. You remain persistent and you're about to see the rewards of your hard work paying off. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came th uh, through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.